Good morning. Welcome to Coffee with Kira, Volume 2, Issue 39. Or Cider with Kira. That's what I'm drinking right now. Because it's officially fall! Yay! <laughs> I am uh, very excited. We had some delicious weather this last weekend. Uh, it's back up in the low 90s. I'm okay with that. Uh, it's supposed to be in the um, high 70s by the time October hits. So things are trending in the right direction at least. Um, I can kind of justify all the knitting I've been doing <laughs> as far as like actually wearing it. I am currently wearing my um, Sharon Air shawl, which I've turned into a poncho of sorts. Let me stand up and give you a full, full view. Hopefully you can see the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it ended up, here we go. Um, you know, this, this was the triangle part and then these were supposed to come off like, like a wing and, um, and I got my rights and lefts mixed up. And so ended up with these two weird little side thingies, um, which I thought about seaming this up, but I kind of like the drape there. So I just seamed this up and then left, um, left a spot up here for it to be kind of drapey. Um, and you've got two different patterns on the front and back. And of course I could wear it either way, but this is the way I've chosen to wear it for now. But I love the colors and now I have a poncho thing. It's very, very exciting to have a new thing to wear. So finish that, which is exciting. Um, I like finishing things. I also finished my Hocus Pocus socks. So I have a, a new pair of socks. These are living in my Halloween sock box. They have, um, there you can kind of see the cables pretty good in that spot at least. They have cables all the way down on different sides depending on right and left. And then um, the yarn was really fun to work with. Kind of uh, mismatched. And I've got plenty left over so I can make some baby socks and put it into my scrappy blanket which is my December project for when I just need some mindless knitting. And then, so I showed this, my mother and child pullover. The body is all complete and I have one sleeve done. So, and I even started the second sleeve. So I'm hoping by next week, next video, I can share you, uh, share with you the finished sweater. So that just needs to be seamed up here. Ta -da. And then the sleeves are not going to match. So my goal is to use up scraps. So um, yeah, and it's, I think it's going to fit like it does the model, which is exciting. Um, it's, it's kind of short. It doesn't actually look great on a uh, pregnant belly because it hits like right in the middle of the belly. But once, um, once lemon is out of me and I shrink back to a normal size for myself, then, um, it will be very cute. And it's also not going to stop me from wearing it <laughs> with my pregnant body. <laughs> so yeah. Um, other exciting things to share. I got my Birds of Bidwell calendar. Uh, they turned out beautiful. I'm selling them for $28 a piece. On the back, there's a little bit about me and then a little bit about the uh, Chico State Ecotherapy Program, which I'm splitting the profits with them. So this is kind of a fundraiser calendar as well. They do um, forest therapy or forest bathing guided um, meditative tours in natural places in and around Chico. So 
I've been on a couple of those tours and it's awesome. Highly, highly recommend it. So I've got all my birds in here. It turned out beautiful, like a great gift, of course. Calendars are awesome Christmas gifts. I always keep a paper calendar, not only because I like the art on the calendars, but I like, um, I like being able to see, you know, all of it at a glance, like all the big events. So this one doesn't technically have a bird on it, but it's Chico and the scene was from Christmas Eve last year, so that's why it's December. So yeah, so um, those are not currently available on the website, but they will be very soon. For 28, you can also just reply and I can hook you up with one. Huh, William Blake, you wanna come up here? Come here, come say hi. Come here, there he goes. Um, yeah, hello baby. So yeah, things have been good. Um, we did some reorganizing of um, some of our spaces in the house and that feels really good. Move some things out into the sheds. Um, Lemon's room is coming together. So the glow in the dark paint idea where I was gonna paint constellations didn't quite work. The paint is like needs multiple layers and it was just gonna be too much, um, you know, Michelangelo ceiling painting for me. <laughs> so I did find though, they've got, you know, the little glow in the dark stars, the little classic um, bedroom stars. They've got blue ones, which I'm very into. So I'm gonna order some of those. And they've got like little ones. So you can make it look like, you know, the Milky Way. Speaking of the Milky Way, Jamie and I went to um, the Chico Observatory last night. Um, we were just gonna go to, you know, drink cider and eat cookies and enjoy the stars because it was a super clear night and it's starting to get dark early enough. And um, just so happened there was a guy there doing a star tour and he had um, uh, night vision goggles and the lasers, you know, laser pointers so we could point to stars and things. and. Um, he pointed out a bunch of constellations that I didn't know about. It was really cool. And we saw some satellites. We saw the International Space Station. Um, there's tons, tons of satellites up there. Um, and uh, you could see a bunch more of them with the night vision goggles too, which was cool. He showed us, um, uh, there goes a hummingbird. Oh, that's a big fat one. He showed us, um, oh, the moons of Jupiter. That was really cool. We could see those with binoculars. Um, and yeah, it just, it turned out to be super fun. It was, it was awesome. Um, and yeah, it was really cool. So I'm, I'm very much in the night sky starry mood right now. So excited to make a little little spiral arm of the Milky Way in Lemon's room on the ceiling. And then, um, yeah, we're getting the floors replaced in there. And then once that's done, then we can finish setting everything up and put up all the art on the walls and get everything ready. Not that Lemon's ever, like gonna live in there for a couple of months after they're born, they're, they'll be in our room, but, um, It'll just be nice to have all of their stuff in their room <laughs> because it's currently everywhere in the house. So, yeah. Um, next thing coming up is Open Studios. I'm going to a meeting today, I'm recording this on Saturday, um, about that. So that's exciting. Stay tuned for more info there if you're a Chico local. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's all the exciting, fun things I've got going on over here. Um, it is a beautiful day. I'm taking some time off next week to spend with a friend who's coming from out of town. A long time pen pal of mine. We visited each other a couple of times now. Um, but we've been writing like at least as long as Jamie and I have been married, so 12 years. So that's fun. 
uh, I get to be a tourist in my own town with her. Um, yeah. I, I hope that you are enjoying the fall season now that it is official. <laughs> the equinox has passed. Um, it's getting darker earlier, which I like. A uh, chance to be cozy, cool in the mornings. I've got my windows open. Yeah. Feels good. Fall feels good. Even though it's still 90 degrees. <sighs> Let's not think about that. That's what layers are for. With that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of day, rest of your week, and um, I will talk to you next time. Bye.